You guys that are waiting for your kingdom spouse, I waited for two years and believed that a man was my husband and I was wrong. And anyone could have come to me and told me, this is not your husband. And I would not believe them because of all the signs that I saw. Now, during that time, I was obsessed with kingdom spouse prophets on YouTube. And I'm not saying that there are not reputable prophets on YouTube because there are, but typically prophets, okay? When you study the Bible, what did they do? They rebuked, they instructed, they corrected, uh, and sometimes they would tell of the future things to come. But we are not uh, to see prophets as psychics, okay? That they only predict the future. And a lot of these kingdom spouse prophets on YouTube are taking advantage of you in your vulnerability to get your views, to get money, because uh, they know that this is what you want to hear, right? They're tickling the ears. When a prophet on YouTube is, and I'm going to read, and I'm not going to name this person by name, <clears throat> but I'm going to read four of their titles, YouTube uh, video titles, from the past four days, four days, in the matter of four days. Uh, and I'm going to show you, this is, this is literally idolization. This is a movement within the Christian, uh, church where, uh, there is an obsession with kingdom spouse to the point where our mind is preoccupied with that over God. Like we're so worried about why they're not texting us back. And the fact is, let me tell you something before I read these titles. If somebody is causing you confusion, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. So if somebody is giving you anxiety and they're not texting you back, you don't know if they like you, I'm sorry, but you really need to pray and seek the Lord and let go of that. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be. But if you are in confusion, maybe God's not the author of this because you should not be in confusion. You, be, you should be in peace. So this is the four titles of this one YouTube prophet. And this is what God wants you to focus on is a person. Listen to And that's, that's sarcastic. God does not want you to be focused so much on a person and every little move that they're making. So number one, specific, he says specific, this is happening again. They can't get you off their minds. Number two, urgent. This is urgent, apparently. Someone is asking after you. Stop doubting. Three, specific. This person has left you, but is still spying on you. Four, urgent. These are all so urgent. This special someone is willing to fight for your love and go the extra mile. Listen, it is all about relationship. Where are we putting Christ at the center here? Where is their peace of knowing, I don't know what's going on, Lord, but you are behind the scenes and I don't need to know the plan because you know the plan. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to help you not to harm you. I know the plans, he's saying. You don't need to know the plans. You just need to trust who you're following and trust that you're going the right way when you're following Jesus because he is the way. And I was taken advantage of by these prophets and I don't want anyone to go through what I went through. When you are putting a prophetic word out there f just for the tickling of ears, it is very damaging and can lead many, many, many people astray. So if you are stuck on the kingdom spouse thing and that you're obsessed with these videos and you can't get enough, please, 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 please turn away from this. This is causing you anxiety. This is not from God. And the person that God has for you will not make you question constantly. They will bring you peace. God will give you peace about this. It will flow naturally, okay? This is, this is not, and honestly, this is tapping into a spirit of divination. And it is idolatry at its finest. 
because we should be focused. God has more important things to tell you than if your kingdom spouse is literally spying on you. I'm sorry, but God has more important things to tell you. So, I just have to say this. I have a righteous anger about this. I'm tired of this. This is ridiculous. And somebody has to speak up about this because it's literally, it's honestly, it's, it's witchcraft. It's divination. And it is the tickling of the ears. So, Pray and ask the Lord to take away that obsession for marriage. As long as you have that idol, like I did, that person will not come into your life because you are going to depend so much on that person. You're not depending on God right now. You're depending on that person, everything, every little move they make to make you happy. And if you got married to them right now, you would be depending on them the way you should be depending on God. And that's too heavy for anybody. You wouldn't be ready. So I love you guys. I know this is a harsh word for some people. I wish somebody gave me this word when I was obsessed with kingdom spouse prophets. So love you guys and uh, praying for God to lead you and guide you in all of your ways.